Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. We have another Victoria Fuller Greg Grippo video for you today. I know, we're kind of barrel scraping in the Victoria Fuller Greg Grippo era, but more info is going to be coming out tomorrow on Nick Vile's podcast because he's going to be interviewing them, and we're sure to get down. And, of course, that interview will be leaning in the direction of supporting Victoria and Greg. Of course, they're all friends, but we'll have to see. I'm sure there'll be some critical questions that Nick will have. I'm sure he's going to want to please the people that um, that are doubting um, the uh, the sort of sincerity of their timeline. Now, I'm going to talk about somebody who's reached out to me that works at a venue that actually saw them getting cozy together on a certain date. Again, this information has been as vetted is it's been vetted as far as I possibly could, which is not that far. It's not that farly vetted. I want to let you guys know that this could be somebody who. Uh, made something up and told it to me, for all I know. I have not seen the guest list that has their names on it. I just want to let you guys know that right up front. We're going to get into this story. I'm not pretending like this has um, been something that's got a notary on it and signed, sealed, and delivered. This is just something that might point to a clue that debunks their timeline. Um, all right, so, but, but by the way, uh, someone had brought this to my attention from five years ago. Uh, this is a song called Be I'm Gone, and this is by, uh, actually by... Um, Johnny DiFilippo, which, by the way, he looked great with that long hair. But he wrote this five years ago before um, Victoria was in his life. But I wonder if this is a, a ringtone that might have been sent in her direction. All right. So anyway, let's get into the story here. Um, we were trying to place together. Now, is this a clip here? Okay. So New York Fashion Week was September 9th to September 14th. Uh, the timeline of which um, when Greg uh, would enter the picture is the biggest question that people have regarding Victoria and Greg's relationship. Was there overlap when she was still engaged to Johnny Filippo? Of course, we know end of September, or was it October? Jeez, maybe it was end of October. Uh, they were seen in Rome, and of course then several weeks later, the after uh, the reunion episode of Bachelor in Paradise aired. So September 9th to the 14th was New York Fashion Week, which is the week where all Bachelor alumni go. They just go there. They go to Revolve. It's an influencer week. So this photo, which is, you know, these are uh, basically stock images that not stock, but these were taken by photographers with their timestamps on them. Uh, and of course, if you want to buy them, you can, I don't know why you would, but somebody might. Uh, but anyway, I, I bring this photo up because this was dated to New York fashion week. Of course, September 8th, 2022, the day in question that they were seen possibly canoodling with Victoria Fuller and Greg Grippo. So Victoria was posted here 11 weeks ago, uh, at tagged in a New York Fashion Week, so we know she was there. That's not in dispute. And let's go through the timeline. Here's the timeline presented by Us Magazine. Um, Victoria Fuller and Greg Grippo's relationship timeline as of a couple of days ago. I'm sure this doesn't include all of the uh, additional sort of clues that we have, but this is where we stand right now. 2021, the twosome first crossed paths at Governor's Ball in New York City. So they met last year. Very nice. Uh, spring of 2022, before, of course, Bachelor in Paradise filmed, Filippo claimed that Grippo and Fuller had a thing pre-Paradise, noting that she told him about their relationship on the beach. Of course, this photo was actually posted this week, so don't think that this photo that they're sharing here was a photo from, from that time period. These are just um, the accusations that... Uh, Johnny made of when he thinks they first started talking. Summer of 2022, Victoria Fuller picked Johnny DiFilippo over Alex while filming Bachelor in Paradise in June. The series wrapped by early July, but didn't premiere until September. The fact that this show premiered in the fall, I don't know if that caused more of a dumpster fire or what, but it really makes the timeline... Uh, tough because they're actively trying to keep things under wraps, so it's hard to find the receipts. July 2022. According to Victoria Fuller, she and Filippo split within three weeks of leaving the show. Now, I don't know why I said July. There was a possibility for us to potentially work towards something. Breakups are confusing, right? I mean, we all know that. I'd be crazy to say that I cut off communication completely, she later explained to us. We ended our engagement three weeks after, and then shortly after that, we were completely done. So, this is where it's complicated. She says they ended their engagement, and then she said shortly after that, we were completely done. So three weeks after filming, the engagement ends, but that doesn't mean the relationship ended. And of course, it could have ended for her. It could have ended for both of them, and he refused to believe it. She could have said, we are done, and he's still trying to go after. It's not cheating if she says, we are done. You're done. It only takes one to end a relationship, you know, unless it's your cable bill, in which case they don't let you, you know, you try to cancel three times, and they're like, well, how about we sign you up for Hulu Plus? And it's like, well, why don't you get out of here? What are you talking about? September 2022, according to Johnny DeFilippo, he and Fuller officially broke up mid-December. Okay, so here is where we have a little bit of a 
conundrum, folks. We have Johnny DeFilippo saying they officially broke up mid-December. So that means anything before mid-December, in Johnny's eyes, would be considered cheating. Again, it's up to other people what they think and feel about this scenario. Now, we have August 2022. In late August, Greg Grippo and Victoria Fuller saw each other at Nick Vile's girlfriend's Natalie Joy's birthday party. Johnny DeFlippo alleged everything changed after that party. So he says um, he started getting the silent treatment from Victoria. He would text her. She would respond the next day. If you've ever been in a relationship where this happens, it's heartbreaking because you're on the edge of your seat waiting for them to text back. But you know if you overly text them, then they're going to be like, you're just being too needy. And it's like, you're only needy. He's like, you're only thirsty when you haven't been provided water. You know what I mean? Maybe that's codependent of me. But it's like, keep each other well fed. Keep those uh, wells full and uh, not wells you know atoms but to keep the water wells full and you won't go thirsty johnny's just looking for a straw uh, august as uh, the straw that broke uh, victoria's back in the bed okay okay i don't know what i'm saying uh we're making links here folks it's monday uh in late august grippo and fuller saw each other at okay we already got that so that was late august um and again not as far as we know, nothing happened there other than there were photos posted that, that showed them at the same place. So it showed them at the crime scene, as it were. October 2022 is where it gets interesting. Reality Steve shared snaps of uh, Victoria Fuller and Greg Grippo in Rome on October 25th and October 26th. All right, no mention the fact that I shared photos too, but we did. I And again, at the time, I didn't believe they were a thing. I thought it was photos of Johnny, but then Johnny posted a photo saying unwell in Miami. And then you go, oh, maybe it was Greg Grippo. And then, of course, we got the photos of Greg's face and we go, no, 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 it's officially Greg Grippo season in the Victoria Fuller world. Um, Johnny DeFilippo's brother reportedly liked an Instagram comment calling Fuller trashy. We covered all that story. And then in November, Nick Vile dropped a video of Victoria Fuller kissing Greg Grippo weeks before Bachelor in Paradise finale aired. Uh, and then, of course, in November, during the reunion, Johnny accused Fuller of cheating with Grippo, which she re- repeatedly denies. It sucked for sure. It just kind of made me believe that anything she said didn't hold weight anymore. And I had my suspicions, and I kind of thought that there was always something going on. And then it just makes you think, when did it start? It's a weird feeling. I'm going to show the receipts from the person who reached out to me that they were at a party. Um, but um, Johnny says, I was not there at the party. I just know everything kind of changed after that day. That being the party in August where they officially would have canoodled. I mean, apparently they had met in the spring, but in August, Johnny was like, I was with her till mid-September. Now we've got September 8th is the date where did they meet at Nick uh, Nick Viles and then go to this exclusive bar in New York City where there's no photos being taken. Greg and I, and then uh, me, meanwhile, Fuller, meanwhile, gushed to us about how supportive Greg Grippo was during the ordeal. Greg and I have very similar values, and so we just uh, figured it out right now. Yeah, the deal is he's going to be super supportive, and then you'll just have to make sure when it's time for, you, for Victoria and Greg to fight, because every couple does, that they'll still be supportive. Or will it be one of those jockeying to play the victim, jealousy, fracture in the relationship type of thing. He's been nothing but uplifting and encouraging through this whole experience. And that's the type of partner that I want, somebody who makes me feel good and makes me feel like a better person. I think Greg might move to Nashville for me. We'll see. I own a house, so I'm not going anywhere. It was the sweetest thing ever for him to join me on stage at the reunion. He didn't ask for anything. He just wanted to be there to support me, and I couldn't ask for a better boyfriend. All right, well, Greg moved to Nashville. The twosome spent Thanksgiving dinner together. Send all the hate that you desire my way, but please leave my mother and family out of this. It posted Greg Grippo. Of course, we agree. And that's where that ends. Um, we have Mayor, our friend Mariah Cat posted this TikTok. So what kind of day would it be without a little Greg and Victoria update? So Victoria just posted this on her story. Looks like they were in LA today at the Melrose Trading Post, which if you didn't know is like a super cool flea market with food. All right, so there they are in a dirty window. Oh, sorry about that, in a dirty window. Uh, the timeline, whose timeline do you believe more? 2,200 people said Johnny's. 266 said Victoria and Greg's. So, and then the other said neither's. So the people that support Johnny's timeline, it's 10 to 1. 10 to 1 are the people that support Johnny's timeline. My, my guess is the truth is leaning on Johnny's side, but not exactly as crazy as people might want it to believe. So I got this post. I got this sent to me. Not sure when Bachelor in Paradise ended filming, but I know the date of September 8th for sure because it was the after party for a big event. Hard to believe she didn't cross a line emotionally and not sure what timeline they're trying to push. Here are the receipts. Nick, Victoria, and Greg were seen at the Blonde in New York City at an after party, blah, 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 through on September 8th. 
Victoria and Greg were very cozy. No photos, but they were marked on the guest list. Just hard to believe they were just friends in that moment, but this was pre-Bachelor in Paradise airing, so didn't know she was supposed to be with Johnny. So what will be interesting tomorrow on Nick's podcast, which I'm assuming they already aired, maybe I could have held on to this information to see if we could catch them in a lie, but I wanted to share it with you guys. And we'll see if they talk about... Um, if, 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 and again, we're, these are all hypotheticals, but if Victoria says something like, I did not kiss or I did not see, uh, Greg in person till October 17th, one month after X, Y, and Z, then we'll say, no, you guys were on the guest list. Now you can be on a guest list and not be seen together. But this person also says that they were canoodling. They were getting very cozy. Now, maybe it was drafty outside. Maybe they needed to stick together for body warmth. Maybe they were practicing, um, you know, the Heimlich maneuver. Uh, there's a new face-to-face version where they kiss each other while they do it. I don't know, folks. I don't know. But, of course, Nick's going to have them on his podcast, I believe, tomorrow. And we'll have to see how that all plays out. I'd love to know what you guys think. It's always nice to get some uh, debunking by fans. Um, again, uh, I'm going to try to get a copy of that guest list, not to be creepy, but hey, here we are. And meanwhile, I'll be in the mobile studio uh, for the next day or so in Rhode Island. And then we head to New York City. I've got stand up shows Thursday and Friday night. Thursday at West Side Comedy Club, 7 p.m. Friday, it's a midnight show actually um, at the comedy shop in uh, on Bleecker next to McDougal. So we'll be out before and after our shows, hanging out with friends, family, and you guys. So if you're in New York City and want to be a part of those festivities, you know where to find us. And I'll actually post my show from Saturday night on the Patreon, patreon.com slash Dave Neal. If you want to check that out, it's a private membership only uh, community. We're going to have a ton of content on there. I've just been traveling, of course, so it's hard to make um, all these different uh, videos and podcasts and all that but bachelor rush hour will be live this afternoon bachelor rush hour wherever you listen to podcasts so all that content available for you i'll post i'm sorry uh september um, november 26th was my stand-up show this past saturday in newport we sold it out it was amazing big shout out to everyone who came we got to meet some really cool audience members and I, the thing i love more than anything is when the husbands of the audience members go oh yeah like uh, my wife listens to you every morning you keep her busy thank you so much they're just the nicest guys they're super cool i appreciate them coming out and um and uh, thank you guys all for your support leave a comment we'll talk to you later bye now